Hi and welcome to my video. In this video we're going to be talking about brand overflow and what it is simply is an SEO I guess monitoring tool and it helps you to do uh, keyword research, monitor your backlinks and do a audit for your website and it does it in a way that it doesn't you know make it seem so overly complicated uh, and make you have to kind of like get a minor in <laughs> SEO. This this really really makes um, search engine optimization very easy. So when you log in, this is what it looks like, real quick. And you have several different tools, mainly the keywords, backlink checker, and the audit. And then you get your projects here. So when it comes to keywords, you can enter your keyword. You can select uh, what country you would like to target. It's by default it's the US and the default language is English, but you can also change it to several others over here. Let me scroll down. Okay. So that's that. And then you can enter your keyword in here. All right. So I'm gonna turn in the keyword here and click submit. And the good thing about this is it's a web-based tool, so no need to risk installing shady software that might have viruses. This is um, all run on your web browser. You're going to have to let it run and it will give you a report. Once it's done, go ahead and click it and it will tell you exactly. So for this word, it has zero uh, cost per click. It's AdWords difficulty is zero. And from here you can see the search volume is about 100 per month. All right. And then if you scroll down, they have, you know, different phrases, questions, comparisons. Uh, it doesn't have really the, any of that because uh, this, this is pretty low, low search, uh, so low search traffic. All right. And that, that's pretty much how everything works. I like how the interface is very easy to read. There's nothing really, you know, too confusing. And then let's move on to the next one, backlinks. So for this one, you can enter in. A, uh, either your website or a competitor's website so you can check on uh, what they have so let me go ahead and enter in my website okay my website right right here click on submit and let it let it run eventually I'll get a report now I have to <laughs> give you a quick disclaimer I haven't really been focusing on SEO for my my site so it's not in the condition, but still doing okay. Here it is. It breaks down my backlinks, uh, how many do follows I have, how many EDUs I have, government, uh, subnets I have, and so on. All right. And then here are some of the ones I've lost <laughs> over time. Okay. And then some of the ones I've gained. So, and if you go down, you have a. Uh, different different uh, backlinks on linking to me All right here are the here are a few of them here and the same here okay there's quite a few linking to my my website and it down down here as well and you can go ahead and check that out so it, it gives you a quite an in-depth view of your website's health and of course you can use this on your competitor's site and kind of see what's working for them and finally is the SEO audit. You, know, you can see what's working and what needs improving. So you can run a complete SEO audit on your website. I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. And I just click on submit. And let's see what let's see what, what comes back. So this will give me the SEO health, I guess a will report card and let me know if I need to build more backlinks or focus on different keywords. But I'll pause it and uh, we'll see. Oh, okay, that's good. So, oh, I guess so far it's not too bad. 94, uh, total pages 10, optimized 14, 7 with issues. All right, let's check that out. Um, okay, so s some of these I have kind of errors I need to fix. Yeah, and it shows me right here, so I need to fix those, which I which I like that. I really appreciate that. And you can just go ahead and fix that. Over here is your overall page health. 
and basically tells you like this one right here is missing a meta a meta title this one's missing a meta title this one's missing a description no internal links um this one is a uh, url is not seo friendly and he, you know here they are so it, it shows up right here so it gives you a good view of exactly what you need to do and uh, to fix this up so overall what are my my impressions of this uh, seo tool um if you're like me and you hate to do anything with seo because it's just too complicated and it has uh, just too much information then this one i think this tool right here is perfect for everyone because it's simplified it tells you exactly what you need nothing more nothing less and it gives you the link and um, it gives you everything you need to fix it right away um, i like the i like the audit the backlink and the keywords it, it's it's perfect for those who are beginner to intermediate anyone who wants anything like really really advanced uh, this might not be it for you, but if you're a beginner to intermediate, this tool is perfect. So I'll leave a link below for you to go ahead and check it out. And full disclaimer, if you do happen to buy through that link, I will get a certain percentage of that, which will help me to, um, which will basically give me a small commission and it will help me to improve my channel. So I hope this video was helpful. And if it was, could you please hit the like button? I'm Vince from Digital Man Institute. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.